Hey guys, in today's video I wanted to talk about the new Ballast Point Brewery that opened up in downtown Disney. Specifically, I wanted to talk about the vegan options that Ballast Point provides. I'm not vegan, I was vegetarian for about 10 years. Now I do eat meat, but I do enjoy vegan options if available because sometimes they just taste better than real meat. Ballast Point opened up on January 16th and it's located in downtown Disney. I've been hearing that it is a really friendly place for both adults and kids, so that is awesome. Ballast Point serves some plant-based food and some vegan beer options also. I am going to just talk about the vegan options that are available at Ballast Point. I am now on the official website. You can make a reservation. It's kid-friendly, there's patio seating, beer to go, there's wine available, there's event space. We're at the menu and there you can see the impossible lettuce cups. Guests can enjoy plates of lettuce cups filled with impossible foods, plant-based meat, peppers, hot sauce, sriracha, garlic, lime, and Fresno chilies. I have heard of the impossible burger I have never tried it. I heard it's really good. Under sandwiches and burgers, there is the Impossible Burger. So that's a six ounce patty, lettuce, tomato, pickled onion, sharp cheddar, pickles on a brioche bun served with fries. Another menu option is the soy riso and cauliflower tacos. Those have avocado, chipotle, tofu aioli, marinated vegetables, and it's served alongside chips and salsa. That sounds mouthwatering. I've had soy riso before and that stuff is bomb. Those are the vegan options that they have on their menu. It's not a lot, but it's enough. And I think that is really cool that they incorporated some vegan meals for vegans and non-vegans. I think 2019 is going to be a lot more vegan friendly. I hope you guys enjoyed this short and quick video on the vegan meals that you can try at the new Ballast Point Brewery in downtown Disney. If you guys have tried any of their foods yet, let me know in my comments below. I'm curious. I want to know if the impossible burger or the impossible meat is worth trying. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in my next video.